All right. First up here and off the top, as I just mentioned, Alita Battle Angel director Robert Rodriguez, who also directed like Sin City and a bunch of other really cool films, is being sued right now by one of his production companies that worked with him on Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For. They are alleging that he went over budget on that film and it cost them a whole ton of money. Now, just to put that in perspective, Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For worldwide ended up making about $34 million, I think. I mean, total, not opening weekend, $34 million worldwide total. And it ended up costing around $65 million to make. And that's not even counting marketing costs and all that kind of stuff. So they, everybody ended up taking a financial bath on that movie. Just a terrible financial bath. But... One of the production companies that was helping funding the project is now suing Robert Rodriguez saying he went over the budget initially. Here's what the suit alleges. Uh, this comes from Cinema Blend and their report on the story. And the suit alleges when the dust settled, uh, SC2, that's the production company suing Robert Rodriguez, SC2 Productions ended up financing almost $15 million in, over, in cost overruns over the approved budget Rodriguez had agreed to and was obligated to work within when filming Sin City 2. The suit contends, SC2 Productions should not have, have to shoulder the cost of Rodriguez's false representations, failure to perform, and many egregious breaches of various contracts related to the film. So... Essentially, what this company is alleging is that because Robert Rodriguez botched so much stuff, this is what they're saying, not me. They're saying he botched so much stuff and he made so many mistakes that they had to do all this extra stuff and it cost like $20 million over and above and we had to shoulder $15 million of that and obviously the film bombed and nobody got money. Now, this clearly probably isn't a problem with anybody if uh, Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For, had made a ton of money. If the movie had made a ton of money, no one's going to care about that 15 million bucks. But when the movie loses money and there are people who put up cash that end up getting none of it back, then you start to become a little bit concerned about when things went over budget, when mistakes were made and it cost you. So now how much validity there is to this claim? I have no idea. I mean, it might be completely baseless and we'll let the courts decide that, but it is pretty interesting that this movie that was out like over four years ago is back in the news again. And again, it's in the news for all the wrong reasons. All right, let's move on to the next topic here. And the